All right, ladies and gents, we are almost there. So close. Here we go. Whoa, look at that horse. Up from the bare bones. Jeez. Poor thing. The Gunslinger's Tragedy. Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> You mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> Can I see the boots, Gringo? Oh no. See him from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. Seems about right. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad, but a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. I well, love his I mustache. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? <laughs> wonderful. Just wonderful. <sighs> Americans. Yeah, I love them. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. 
I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. so hard was it no it wasn't Follow me we're gonna try something a little more challenging Ooh, we got a new gun too look at that did we the birds around here yeah we did scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals i say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of chuparosa here we'll do i'm gonna scare up some birds let's see if you can take down more than one at a time all right One, two, three, four. Nicely done, Olé. sir. You've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Rickett. Hold on. Hold on. I need these. Oh, they're just vultures. Gosh dang it. I thought there was some exotic bird. But they're not. Damn vultures. Hello to you, sir. Hola. Hola, como estas? Hi, Senor Ricketts. Senor Ricketts. Senor Ricketts, Senor Ricketts, por favor, Thankful. Senor, our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. Yep. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. No wonder you left America. Come on. Actually, before we do anything. Oh no, you don't. So why are you looking at these two men? It's a long story. We used to oh. ride together. We was all friends once. Come on. Come on. Let's try to get to that revolver. Let's go. Come back. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Come on, let's go. Landon. 
Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long <laughs> way from being a Landon Rickett partner. Young, older, other Shots fired. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Need it, senor. I would do major left. Oh, just shot his hat off. Now let's get this wagon back where it belongs. So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not going to stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't. My tower cast is good with Rennes. <laughs> I'm his little apprentice. I love it. Can top by the master. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about <laughs> even. All right. Got a little bit more fame. So we've got the Win Winchester repeater. Calman revolver. The volcanic pistol. And then the Schofield revolver. Saw it off. Alright. Gonna continue with this little pistol here. But yeah, we learned something new. We no longer have to like focus on the person. We can uh, press the RB button, the right bumper, and actually mark out the target. So that makes things a whole lot easier. Let's actually go check around this town real quick. See if there's any kind of goods. Put my gun away, my gosh. Savage. All right, so what we have? We have bait, horse pills, uh, improved camps campsite, bandolier, moonshine. I have all the things already, so let's get medicine. Good, Let me see now. Let's see. Ooh. Wow, that's expensive. Holy crap. Cougar claw. I guess cougars are really nice down here. So, pre mm, I don't think that. Do they have cougars? I'm not sure. They probably do. Cougars? Did I say cougar? Yeah, they say cougar. Anyway, never mind. Never mind, I'm not gonna say anything more. But let's sell some meats. Vulture feathers. Cougar meat. Um, Bobcat, we're not gonna sell that. We're gonna probably sell that in the States. But I'm gonna just check around the town just a little bit, see what I can buy. See, oh yes. And because of my fame and my honor, everything's a lot cheaper. Hmm. What's snake oil do? Refills the dead eye meter. Sweet. Never gonna really Let's use it. Going for a while. That's okay. Let's look at the map real quick. Uh, do they have. They do not have a freaking armory. Or anywhere that sells guns. How dare they? How dare they? There just happens to be a house over here. Lovely. I'm gonna see if I can buy this house actually. Hmm. Seriously, nothing? No weapons? No nothing? Alright, let's hop over this wall. Hmm. I don't want to go into the mission just yet, so let's see what I can do here. Crap. Oh well. Landon Ricketts Rice. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, 
How the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here, because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Senor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio. The Stabacone, uh, Grind the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. <laughs> but they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman. A teacher. A human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir. And I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm going to take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Hmm. Howdy, sir. I'll probably ride the train. Let's see. All depends. There's the train. Woo! Jeez. It's a long ways away. Yeah, the train probably be faster. We'll probably have some kind of some conversation. You, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. After you. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. I love how the windows are open right where we're sitting. Yeah. That makes you wonder. You just take off your rifle. You rest. Don't worry about me. I'm too old for sleep. I'll wake you when you get there. He's too old for sleep. Quite the contrary. Should be some horses yep, that was a whole lot faster. Hey, Jenny, what's up? How's it going? Let's go. Go. Whoa, whoa. Let's go, old man. Stop walking. Start riding. Let's ride. All right, let's head to El Matadero and see what they know about Luisa. Come on. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Oh, escalate quickly. 
far. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Slow down! All right, Just let's find this Carlos guy. Ooh, my gosh, why am I yawning? Not kidding about sleepy. Mmm, meat. Carlos, see? We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. All right, sounds good. All right. Let's see if I get my pistol ready. Hmm. Interesting place. Interesting. I may need something a little bit more long range. Double headshot. Oh. I thought he was going to, uh, Follow me, we'll thought I missed in for a second. Only took out his hat. My lord! What can I say, partner? Oh, we're home. Where's my cover, Marston? I'm coming. Oh. Hello. Call yourself soldiers? What the hell? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh crap, they're still they're all still alive. Nearly there. Get up here, Marston. Reload, reloading. Stay with me. Where is she? I'm trying, old man. Dang, he's fast. What the hell's happening? Put your guns down and run back to your family! I'm gonna see if I can blow the door open. You keep guard. There'll be more on the way. Alright, sounds good. Let's see if I got any uh, new weapons. Nope, doesn't look like it. So, I'll probably use shotgun pretty soon, but. 91, sweet! Yeah, we'll just keep using the repeater. Right, I'm gonna need some cover here. Oh, still alive. Get behind the table. I'm gonna blow it. All right, sounds good. I think I was good where it was, but oh well. 
dynamite. I guess this is where we get the dynamite. Holy crap, I don't think we need that much dynamite. Stand I think back, one stick would do. Here goes. Come on, boy. Poor girl's barely alive. Right, let's see if we can oh. all get out of here in one piece. It's time to start feeding them their balls. Right, let's get that shotgun out. Let's go. Hmm, I love this thing. Bunch of repeater ammo. Wait for rickets. Ah, oh, I love the shot, uh, sawed off shotgun. Oh. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on. I'll pick you. And we'll just have this pistol out. A revolver. I love how the hats are still there, not the bodies. Let's go before any more of them show up. Let's go! Shoot him in the leg. In the head. Oh yeah. Come on, old man, let's go. I don't care if she's half dead. We gotta move. Someone's behind me. Give him a range of bullets right there. Actually, real quick, I want to check out the weapons, uh, Yeah, has a whole lot more power to it. Reload speed and a little bit more range. Just want to see how good this revolver was. I wish we could actually get rid of the older ones. Holy crap, here's some more. Mexicano. Oh, there is. Shoot him in both arms. Let's go, Chief. I think we're home free. Oh, that's what we were looking for. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. 
I love how she has a pistol on her waist. Alright, ladies and gents, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bitches!